Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. You know, I'm just waiting for y'all to just say, Hiram, stop with this reaction video bullshit. We're tired of it, move on. But you guys seem to really like these videos. Every time I do them, I get so many comments requesting more and more reaction videos. And I mean, I personally have fun doing them. So I'll just keep doing them, I guess. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Jessica Alba skincare routine. Now this one went up I think four days ago or something like that. A recent one, not her Vogue video, although <laughs> I was watching a video where she was doing her beauty routine with Vogue and girl, you would have thought she was on a timer with the way that she was applying her skincare routine. Like I am rough, a bitch is rough with my face, but she took it to another level. And you can see it gets like, I don't think, um, with the gel cleanse, like on the face. She was like, okay, first step cleanser. <laughs> She went crazy every step. I'm like, oh girl, it's okay, calm down. It's, it's not a big deal. Take your time, no rush, we're all good. But this is actually a different routine that she did on her own personal YouTube channel. I started watching the first little bit, I will admit, before I decided to do a reaction video because I thought, why not make this video two videos in one? This is going to be reacting to her skincare routine, yes. But Jessica Alba owns her own skincare line called Honest Beauty. And you guys have requested a video about Honest Beauty in the past. And, and as soon as I started watching her routine, I was like, okay, I know what's up. She's just going to be using her products, which I mean is smart. You know, she's a businesswoman. Obviously, if she's using her own products and she has a YouTube channel, she may as well use all of her products from her own line, which automatically adds a little bit of bias. But I thought I could give my thoughts on each of the products that she uses from her own skincare line because I'm personally not super familiar with them. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to just like look up the ingredient list as I'm watching the video and give you guys my thoughts right here central and see what we think. Because the Vogue video was a beaut. <laughs> I have no idea if this skincare routine is going to be similar, we shall see. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, I am a skincare specialist. That is the official title of my position at the skincare company that I work for. I am not, however, a licensed esthetician or a dermatologist, nor do I ever, ever, ever claim to be one or know more than either of them. If you do have any concerns with your skin, please go see your esthetician or dermatologist to get that shit treated. This is all just for fun and information's sake. Also, I'm just gonna be watching it on my phone because it's only two minutes and with my computer setup, it's kind of a pain in the ass to watch it on here. So I'm just gonna do my phone. Jessica Alba Skin Car routine. So it's called My Daily Skincare Routine Smiley Face. Hi, I'm Jessica Alba. She's so pretty. Oh my, my gosh. She's always routine. been gorgeous. First, a headband. It's cute. Then I always put on Prime and Perfect mask. Okay. I love this mask because it makes my skin just look tighter and brighter. I feel like my pores look smaller and it smells so good. Mm, like berries and it has shea butter in it. So it's really moisturizing and soft. Then so automatically I'm a little turned off when she says it smells like berries because that usually will mean fragrance. I'm interested at how much she was rubbing it into her face because usually when I think of a mask, I just think of like applying it to your face, letting it sit, not really rubbing it in and then washing it off afterwards. So I don't know if this mask performs in a different way, which speaking of which, let me look up the ingredient list and give you guys my thoughts on this product. What I was doing a reaction video not too long ago. Who was it to? Nicole Concilio? I don't know. But someone was using an Honest Beauty product and I was like, ah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this brand. I looked up the product and I was like, holy shit, the ingredient list is amazing. I think it was like the night exfoliating serum. I was blown away and I was like, I wanna buy this. And then I found that it was sold out, which I love to see that. <laughs> okay, so Prime and Perfect Mask. It's a new product from them. Oh, it's only $20, not too expensive. I think that's pretty fair. Let's look at the ingredient list though, because ingredients don't lie, bitch. It's so weird to be doing these two videos in one, like a reaction video and my truth about videos. I don't know, they're so different. It's weird to mix it in one, which by the way, if you aren't familiar with my channel, I do videos where I do brand reviews called like The Truth About Clinique or The Truth About Glossier, where I basically go over some of the most popular sellers from the brand, talk about the brand overall, go through the ingredient list, tell you which formulas I like, which ones I don't like, and then give my overall thoughts on whether or not I think the brand is worth it. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing in this one. Okay, so right away I see glycerin, there's kaolin clay, kaolin's amazing, and I think paired alongside glycerin can be really beneficial because kaolin can be a little bit overly drying to the face, but when I see glycerin, I know that the mask isn't gonna strip your skin too much. There's sunflower seed oil, 
oil, okay. Shea butter is high up on the ingredient list. Wow, okay, wow, it has wine, actual wine, interesting. It has black currant fruit extract, which is an amazing ingredient for antioxidant protection. It has strawberry fruit extract, which is great. Ooh, it has orange peel extract. But you know, I'm not too mad at it actually because it's an extract and it's not an essential oil. Also, this is a wash off treatment. So you're not leaving it on your skin, which increases potential sensitivity. If you don't know, I'm not a fan of essential oils, especially citrus essential oils, because they can, you know, break down when exposed to UV rays, which causes sensitivity, which is why I usually try to, to avoid it in moisturizers or serums. But in a mask, I don't think it's problematic because you're leaving it on your skin for like, what, 10 to 15 minutes and then washing it off afterwards. Pineapple extract, apple extract. These are great ingredients. Oh, and then one more fragrant component, which is limonene. But again, I actually am really impressed with this ingredient list. I kind of want to buy this one now because it's very rare that I find a kaolin clay mask that has a good amount of glycerin and other hydrating oils that'll kind of like replenish the moisture barrier of your skin. I'm not even kidding when I say I'm literally pressing add to bag right now. <laughs> I'm impressed. I mean, the berry smell is probably due to those berry extracts that she used, which berry extracts, while they do have kind of like a natural fragrance to them, they're actually really beneficial for the skin and can be good antioxidant and soothing ingredients. And with the price point, I'm not, I'm not mad at this mask at all. Wow, I did not expect her to sell me on it <laughs> with the first product. Let's move on with the video. I use Magic Balm. It can go everywhere, but I put it on my lips, my eyelids, and under my eyes. Now I let it sit for 10 minutes. I love to take it off with a sponge. Mm. I feel like the sponge also gives me oh, a little bit of exfoliation. Remember to use. Whoa, oh, wow, she's cloth. going really up underneath. Okay, so I have seen this product, I think in advertisements or something like that, I don't know where, but I don't think I've ever looked through the ingredient list. Let me look right now. Okay, so it's the Magic Beauty Balm for $13. I mean, it's a little expensive, but not too bad. First ingredient, sunflower seed oil, amazing. Second ingredient is olive oil. You know, on face products, I'm not usually a fan of that, but for a dry under eye area and lip, I think that's great. Um, it has beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, jojoba, seed oil, chamomile oil, soybean oil, kaolin. Oh my God, this ingredient list is incredible. Holy shit. And it's fragrance free. Okay, this is not the direction I expected this video to go at all. <laughs> I totally thought I was gonna be like, mm, I don't like how she's using her own brand and kind of promoting it and blah, blah, blah. But the ingredient list so far are really good. I kind of want to buy this one too. Add to cart. If any of you guys have watched my videos, you know my ass is picky when it comes to products. Like I have a very high standard and I never will be like, oh, let me buy this. Cause I'm always like, I want to feel the texture first. I want to look at the ingredients. I want to get feedback. But these ingredient lists so far are so freaking good that I'm honestly really impressed. I mean, I think that would be a great product for under the eye and the lips. Olive oil can be a little bit comedogenic, which is why if you have more combination to oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it for all over the face. But I do have really dry under eye areas and I have really dry lips as well. And looking at that ingredient list, I mean, all of those oils are really hydrating, good antioxidant and good skin soothing agents. And it's also rare that I find an eye balm or a lip balm that's fragrance free. And from what I saw, it doesn't have any fragrance, which is so impressive to me. Wow, Jessica, you're really selling me on your brand. I did not expect this in any sense. I've used those sponges on clients before in the past. I think when you're gentle, she looks like she's being a little bit rough. I would go a little bit more gentle, but when soaked with water, they're actually very soft on the skin and work really well for taking masks off or just to help assist in the process of cleansing. So yeah, I'm not mad at it. Warm water, warm cloth. Next is vitamin C serum. Um, she didn't go in with a cleanser. I always recommend going in with a cleanser after a mask, um, especially like a clay or exfoliating mask, because I don't think it's necessarily good to like leave high concentrations of those ingredients on your skin for longer than what a mask should be on your face for. In addition to that, she also didn't share using a cleanser before going in with a mask, which if you are going to use a mask, at least do a cleanser before, if not after. I personally prefer doing it after when it comes to like a treatment mask. So that does concern me a little bit. She could have easily just put some of like a gel cleanser on a pad and then put water on it and then and rubbed it around her face so that she's simultaneously removing the mask and getting a little bit of cleansing in. But, but you know, moving forward, I'm crossing my fingers that she did do it beforehand. Next is vitamin C serum. <laughs> 
Okay, she's she's a lot more gentle than her Vogue video. A lot more gentle. Let me just tell you that. I'm not sure if that's the same serum that I talked about in my last video. I'm gonna look at the ingredient list again and see because I honestly have no idea. Okay, so it's a different one. So vitamin C radiant serum, it's $28. Not too terrible. Again, I feel like this is, you know, a pretty good price point. It definitely is a little bit luxury compared to like drugstore skincare, but it's not like crazy prices like what you find a lot at Sephora and other stores like that. Let me look at the ingredient list though. I'm bracing myself. Vitamin C is one of those ingredients where I'm like, eh. Okay, so it has, has glycerin, propanediol, both hydrating ingredients. It has apple fruit extract. Okay, the concentration at which she has apple fruit has mild exfoliation abilities. So I definitely like that. Artichoke leaf extract, aloe powder, definitely good. It has sodium hyaluronate, another good ingredient. Okay, so I just spent like five minutes trying to find where the vitamin C ingredient is. Um, She uses sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is an alternative form of vitamin C. The real vitamin C that has all the data backing it up is ascorbic acid. Acid. And any other type of vitamin C is a derivative of it, but it doesn't mean that it has the same positive results. That being said, I think sodium ascorbyl phosphate is a fine ingredient. I don't think it's bad. And you can see good benefits from it. The only thing is that it's really low on the ingredient list. So low that I wonder how much vitamin C you're actually getting. I come from the product stance of like, look, if that's going to be your primary ingredient that you list on the front of the packaging, you better make sure it's a really high concentration of it. And it's so low that I'm kind of like, uh. but that being said, the rest of these ingredients look really good. Again, it's mostly fragrance free. There is clover flower extract, which could be argued by some to be fragrance, but I don't think it is compared to the essential oil. And honestly, besides that, I'm really impressed with this ingredient list. Um, Am I going to buy it? Probably not just because if I am going to use a vitamin C, I want to use a pure form of ascorbic acid, you know, the ingredient that has all the research backing it up. The one I've been talking about a lot in my videos is the ordinary ascorbic acid powder. I love this one because it's 100% ascorbic acid, but it's in a powder form, which means it's not going to degrade with light and air exposure, which is usually the problem I have with vitamin C. Most of the time when it's in a liquid form, it goes bad so quickly that you're basically throwing your money away when you buy a product. And this one's like $6. So the results are amazing. So I personally would prefer this one. But if you are someone who uses this vitamin C serum, I don't think it's bad whatsoever. Wow, I am speechless. This is not usually how it goes on my channel. If you're new here, I'm usually a shady bitch. So this is out of the ordinary. I love wow, she uses a lot, a lot water. of moisturizer. Instantly hydrates your face, and your face looks like it just took a big drink of water. It absorbs quickly. Well, she has my attention with hydrogel because usually when it comes to moisturizers, I have more combination oily skin. So my ass is usually like, where's the gels? Because they just absorb so quickly into the skin and you don't have to worry about like when you sweat, sweating them out or feel like it's trapping your face. But again, let me look at this ingredient list. Although I have to say with the track record from the other products, I think I'm in for a a good product, but we shall see. Okay, so it's $20. Wow, that's a really good price. Okay, I'm really impressed at the price point of her brand. Usually when it comes to celebrity brands, they price them so freaking high for a really half-assed ingredient list. And I'm like, girl, I like you, but I don't like you that much that I'm gonna be paying $100 out of pocket for one product. That's insane. But I really like how competitively priced her products are. That's very fair. I mean, that's what you would pay for a drugstore moisturizer. All right, let's look, I'm so nervous. Oh. Y'all, I am, I am so impressed. Okay, I, I can say it this far into the video. I am so impressed with Honest Beauty. Like these ingredient lists are popping. It's popping, it's popping. No, but for real. Okay, so the second ingredient list is squalane, one of my favorite ingredients and usually one that's found in more heavyweight moisturizers. But when I can find a high concentration of squalane in a very lightweight gel moisturizer, I'm just like, sign me the up. I am here for it because it's an amazing ingredient for the skin. The third ingredient is glycerin. The fifth ingredient is apple fruit extract. There's jojoba oil esters, sodium hyaluronate, a concentrated form of hyaluronic acid, propanediol, sodium PCA, both of which are hydrating ingredients, and absolutely no fragrance whatsoever. Guys, did I just find my new favorite skincare brand? What the fuck is going on? I was not expecting this. I totally expected her brand to be like full of essential oils and fragrance and natural because that's better for your skin. That type of bullshit marketing. But I'm like really impressed. Add to bag. My eyelids. A little lip okay. balm. Beauty balm again. Lips. And then eye curl. Because oh, interesting. Um, it just makes me feel better. 
I don't feel like the lip balm was necessary because she already went with the in with the beauty balm. I think she was probably trying to do that to just like add another product into the routine to help promote it. I see your business strategies, girl. But yeah, easily the beauty balm would have worked fine for that, especially because the ingredients are really good for that product. Why not? Voila. It's like an instant spa treatment all the time. Okay, so she went in with a mist and this will be the moment of truth because usually I hate mists because companies feel like it's an excuse to add a shit ton of fragrance into a product because I get it. I mean, people want it to smell nice as they're applying it to their face, but for such an unnecessary product, like you don't need a mist in a skincare routine for them to be usually loaded up with fragrance. I'm like, come on, but let me look and see what this ingredient list is. Okay, so it's $14, good price point. Definitely good price point. All right guys, moment of truth. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So starting off on the ingredient list, the top of it is definitely amazing. There's glycerin, aloe extract, watermelon, lentil, allantoin, sodium PCA, chamomile, calendula, incredible ingredients. But then there's lavender oil, a bunch of other essential oils, as well as linolul and geraniol, both of which are fragrant components. So I wouldn't recommend this product personally because I do feel like it has a little bit too much fragrance in it for me to ever feel comfortable using. But the good thing is that you have all the other products in her skincare routine that are amazing. And a mist isn't even necessary for a skincare routine. Hope you guys like my video. Make sure you subscribe and comment. Let me know. Her skin is so glowy. She looks video. so good. All right, I'm gonna go start my day. Whoa. Let this moment go down in history as Hiram being completely pleasantly surprised. What is this? I have to feel mad at something. <laughs> Wow, guys, I have to say, I am so impressed, not only with her skincare routine and how simplistic it is, because she doesn't go in with very many steps, she's not doing 10 steps, and even though this was basically a marketing advertisement for Honest Beauty, and let's be honest, I got sucked right into it. I also think her products are really great. I'm super impressed by the ingredient list. I'm literally buying three products after watching her video, and I'm gonna look through the rest of her website and see what other products she offers, because I just had no idea that the ingredient lists were so solid. You have high concentration of great ingredients without fragrance and irritants. They're a competitive price point. They seem to be an ethical brand because they're cruelty free. I, I don't have any more words. That was awesome. It was so funny how that works. I was going into this video being like, okay, Hiram, this is just gonna be a marketing video. It's basically a commercial. She's just gonna promote her own products and you're gonna rip her a new one. <laughs> what do you guys think of this skincare routine? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Honest Beauty. Now I finally know why you guys have been commenting so fucking much, asking me to review Honest Beauty and I'm mad at myself for not knowing about it beforehand. Don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless. It's focused on empowering you to make a positive difference in the world right now from your phone. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.